Hi everybody and welcome to this rookie playthrough, general playthrough of all holes in this upcoming tournament on this wonderful new course that we are all really, really excited about getting started on and having a, a little look at. It is random wins, obviously the tournament has not started yet, so this will be varying wins, we don't know what the wind directions are going to be, but we have got some first looks here and some pretty good first looks as well. So don't forget as well before we get started to hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Get the bell button switched on as well as there will be a tournament playlist for this new course and we will be adding mini videos once we get some more looks at the holes. Different routes, different wind angles and hopefully some different approaches as well so that you can be as prepared as possible. Finally, join us on Facebook at BK Golf Clash Facebook group. Over 5,000 members there from all divisions. Make sure you join. It is totally free. And you can share your shots and look at the other replays from other people as well. As always, with the content here on the channel and on this uh, general playthrough, I will be going through each hole in turn, giving you my adjustments and my descriptions of what I am doing. So make sure you get your notepad and pencil ready to make some preliminary notes. Let's start then with hole number one. So quasar ball is what I'm going with here and I'm gonna bounce over. You can go with a higher power ball and go with over power and clear directly, but I want to show you a, a more conservative option. So I'm going with a quasar, four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the left. And we're aiming here with a little bit of the red ring touching the rough on the left. And I'm gonna adjust maximum distance 20% elevation. Then we're going to take our shot and with my extra mile level 6 I'm going with full curl and that is half a ball of curl outside the adjustment ring to the left. Perfect ball away. If you're worried about hitting a great right and going into the sand, uh, as you can see we do need the curl, then you could play with the katana instead because that will give you three bars of side spin to the left. So that just gives you a little bit more room for error. Second shot though, that's going to be absolutely fine here and we're towards maximum distance of the short iron. So here I'm setting up with some backspin and then I'm going to aim at the pin leaving the ball guide slightly short obviously because we're playing with rookie level clubs here on the channel and then here I'm going to adjust almost at maximum distance with 10% elevation. I actually played 85% on the slider. Plenty of information on the slider on the academy tutorial playlist on the channel. If you don't want to use the slider, play maximum distance with 10% elevation minus 0.2 from a similar point if you've done a drive exactly like mine, or very similar at least. Uh, max plus 10 minus 0.2 will get you very close indeed. And we drop that very nicely for an eagle. Two options here on hole number two, both rough bumps, one from the left, one from the right. Now, I'm using a katana in both because we need more than two bars of side spin. So we're going with more than two bars of side spin to the right here and some back spin as well. Setting up with the bullseye in the middle of the light rough ball guide going to the hole. The adjustment here is mid plus 10 power two settings. Obviously, we're using a power two ball, so mid plus 10. And the reason I'm trying this side is because if I'd gone on the right, I would be adjusting down into the bunker and losing distance on my shot, which is something I want to avoid. So I thought, well, we'll give this a go. We'll give it a go. Slightly, slightly over adjusted on that one, but still something to work from. Here is a first look from the other side as well, uh, which is the side I'm playing from uh, in, in second tee. So again, Katana, we're going with top spin here because we need to cover more distance to the pin. So two to two and a half bar of top spin and three bars side spin to the left. Again, aiming in the middle of that first cut of rough. And the adjustment I do here is mid plus 10. And you can see here the bunker that I'm talking about. If we're adjusting down into that, it might be a little bit difficult. So there's two options here. Obviously, if you don't feel comfortable playing rough bump, then just bounce on the fairway before the green instead. But two very, very good looks. Sadly, I didn't drop it, but we got very, very close with our medium distance plus 10% elevation adjustments. Hole number three, I do think the right-hand side, even though the fairway is a little more narrow, is the best way to play. Four and a half top spin, one bar side spin to the left, setting up with the bullseye in the middle of the fairway, 
ball guide pointing straight down the middle. Max distance 10% is the adjustment here. It does take me into overpower slightly with the uh, small headwind angle, so I'm going to add that on to my shot and then concentrate on hitting perfect. If we have tailwind, obviously we adjust and then we can push back up to max this to gain a little bit more distance on our shot. And we want to be anywhere down this side. Perfect ball, centre of the fairway, anything over 360 is going to be fine. Second shot, you've got two options. Here we have level crosswind, so the rough bump I do think is a very aggressive but good option for the albatross attempt. No spin here, I'm just setting up with ball guide going to the pin. The adjustment I make here is 85% slider, 20% elevation, but I do over adjust this one. I should have used 10% elevation instead, and you will see why now. We are going to miss one square to the right. So I'm working out club distance as best as possible, finding the min and max lines. More information on that and using the slider on the Academy tutorial playlist. But I would suggest there, play true club distance plus 10%. If you don't fancy the rough bump, then do a bounce over shot instead. We have headwind on this angle, but for goodness sake, add more backspin. For some reason, I thought I had hardly any ball guide here with the sniper. So... Uh, I didn't get the adjustment right at all in terms of the spin. And we are going to come in very hot. We will still drop it, but it's lucky that it hit the pin. So do play with some more backspin on this one. Um, medium distance, and I play with 10% elevation. Aiming at the pin with this straight um, wind angle that we have. As you can see, we bounce over nicely. Um, we take a very, very quick roll, but it does drop very nicely for an albatross. So a bit more backspin to steady that up would be nice. Hole number four, if you do have tailwind and you have a berserker, you can try and go full blast on the left-hand side. However, if you don't want to spend a zerk and you don't have tailwind, then here is an option for you. A katana ball for the three bars of side spin to the left. And we're going to adjust here... Um, max distance, 10% elevation, and then I'm going with full curl to the left. That's only just over half a ball of curl outside the adjustment ring. Bear that in mind with extra mile level 6. Could have gone with a little bit more top spin here. You see we were very close to the rough there, so I would suggest going with another bar of top spin on that drive. Second shot is going to be tricky here because uh, from higher divisions we are playing with top spin. But for true rookie clubs, not going to have that option unless you have the runner. So here I've got to play with between four and five bars of backspin with a thorn, which makes this a bit more of a tricky shot to drop. Finding the max line here, and then I'm adjusting in between medium and maximum distance with 10% elevation. If you do hit a great right on your drive, the problem here is you may be too close to max distance on your club. So... This is a little tricky hole for Rookie, especially, like I said, because you haven't got the top spin available on your short iron if you are playing true Rookie clubs to play the rough bump. But here we adjust 10% elevation, going again with true distance of club, but just a slight um, misreading of the adjustment, but it's still a very nice birdie with a chance of eagle going that way. OK, hole number five, we have hole in one. And going with the sniper, obviously... This is sniper level 6. If you don't have the sniper, then go with the viper. Obviously, you will have slightly less ball guide, but the shot is still possible. So, bullseye in the middle of the rough there. You can see half the red ring outside the rough on the left. Adding spin so that we have the ball guide to the pin. Adjustment here, medium distance, 10% elevation. In most cases, this is going to be approximately one-on-one -on -one or thereabouts. But do check it with... A wind up mid plus 10 then we bounce very very nicely and we just creep this one in on the left hand side make sure that ball guide is going uh, nicely into the pin area we don't want to fall short here because it does go slightly uphill to the pin hole number six in any form of headwind this hole is going to be an absolute pain in most divisions and especially rookie but we do have some tailwind here, so I'm stretching out, adding four and a half bars of topspin, two bars side spin to the right. I do need to push up two rings to get where I want to be. I want to have that second bounce clearing the rough. 
max plus 10 is the adjustment max plus 10 then we're going to push back up to max trying to get my two rings it only is allowing me to push a ring and a half so I am going to add some overpower in the end I add a little bit more just to make sure we're going to get over there without risking going directly in the rough so I go with about one ring of overpower a little bit of curl to the right to bring me in closer towards the green and we clear very very nicely if you do have a driver with more top spin like extra mile seven that's going to be a huge help here because you'll gain more distance second shot i'm using the big dog and you'll see if we've got a bit more distance on the drive we're going to have to uh, you know we could be able to play with less curl because look we're seeing the bunker here even with spin added so a little bit of backspin as much right spin as you can and then I'm going to play with a good amount of curl here. I'm just trying to get this ball safely onto the green. Uh, mixing and matching, trying to make up my mind. In the end I go with just over one ball of curl to the right. The adjustment on this one was maximum distance, no elevation. But here it's a very outside chance for an albatross. I'm just glad to get the eagle on this long and tricky par 5. Now we go on to hole 7. Two, uh, two options to show you here. The first one is... The conservative one so playing with the quasar with um, four and a half top spin and two bars side spin to the right top right of the red ring touching the rough with the extra mile level six adjustment here is going to be maximum distance 10 percent elevation and again i'm going with full curl with the extra mile six so that is just over half a ball of curl outside the adjustment ring to the right hitting perfect and this ball will be very nicely going down the fairway not threatening the rough at all, but leaving us in a good position where we can go for the pin from distance with our wood club. Here I'm playing with the Viper just in case I would be short with the sniper as we do have headwind here as we've turned the corner with the direction of the hole. So the wind angle will change. No spin is what I'm doing here. I'm just backing up slightly, landing towards the beginning uh, of the bunker just to the left, of course. The adjustment I make here is medium distance 10% elevation obviously with the Viper not gonna have as much ball guide so we just have to aim as best we can If you do have the sniper though of course then the ball guide will be your friend hitting perfect and we do give this one a good go it just misses to the right hand side but if we can get an eagle there it's gonna be a real bonus in our rounds if you want to play more aggressively and you do have especially if you do have some tailwind here is a shot with a berserker and here I don't want to clear the rough at all I want to land in the rough and roll out four and a half top spin two bars side spin to the right stretching out and just aiming actually at the pin as you can see there maybe just slightly to the left then I adjust max plus 10 and then I push back up to max this is obviously with an extra mile six if you're playing with big clubs obviously you may overshoot so have that in mind full overpower after we've pushed back up and a little bit of curl to the right hitting perfect but minor great left minor great right should still be fine the problem here is we're not going to be able to control how much rollout we're going to have it is going to be very very inconsistent but this is going to set up an eagle opportunity with the thorn and it's up to you which route you want to take finding max finding mid uh, sorry finding min and then working out that i'm just going to be setting up slightly beyond mid um, medium distance here so i am applying some spin and in the end i decide to go with one bar of backspin just to steady the ball and now i'm aiming at the pin obviously again leaving the ball guide short so here i'm playing true club distance here with 10 percent elevation as i'm just beyond um, mid then my calculation here was mid plus 10 but then I added 0.1 so if you think you're very close to mid either on the short or long side you can just uh, add or subtract 0.1 rather than making a guess with the slider entirely up to you but there we do drop it very nicely for an eagle so if you fancy the risk then there's an option for you hole number eight now we are close and it is yet another rough bump because they are the best chance really to get the hole in one um, going with a quasar here and it's a little bit of backspin only and some side spin I'm aiming in the center of that rough patch between 
um, the fairway and the bunker. The blue ring is touching the sand and the rough on the left at the same time. So we're kind of boxing in the blue ring. So we've got two great reference points there. Then you add the spin, get the ball guide to the hole. Adjustment mid plus 10 is what I do here. And this one is just slightly under adjusted. We need to add, I would say, another 0.1, maybe 0.2 onto our adjustment, but a very good first look on hole number eight. That is mid plus 10. Finally, onto hole nine, I desperately wanted tailwind angle. I tried seven tokens in a row, gave me the same wind every single time. So with tailwind, I do think the big topper or a driver with topspin going, um, trying to get over onto the left with topspin and left spin would be the play. But with any form of headwind, that is very difficult. So I'm gonna get, show you an approach on the right hand side. Four and a half top spin, two right spin, setting up here, top of the yellow ring, touching the rough. Adjustment here, even though I'm not at max distance of club, I play max numbers, 10% elevation. Max plus 10. Then we are going to take our shot. Hitting perfect, and this will bounce over very, very nicely. The problem going this route, it is going to be a very, very tricky and technical uh, second shot. But I do believe we do have a chance here, and we just want to secure the eagle if we do get a very difficult headwind angle like this one. So, playing with the big dog, I can't really reach over the rough. Even with max overpower, it's very risky. So I do decide to bounce over with a load of topspin. So, two left spin, and we are going with a decent amount of topspin here, making sure that that second bounce is going to clear the rough, because we do have headwind. The adjustment here, I go max numbers, zero elevation. Max plus zero. Then we take our shot. Great ball to the right will hit the rough by the tree, as it has poor accuracy on the club. But I do believe, even though this is a bit of a uh, finicky shot, it's a very, very uh, nice little route, nifty route to secure the eagle. But like I said, if you get tailwind, I would like to go left-hand side. Thank you for watching, and good luck. Bye for now.